you ever wondered how to fail over a phone number from one phone system to another without touching anything, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. So one of the biggest problems out there for people that have on-site or on-premise phone systems is that uh, your phone service can go out. Everybody's had it happen. Either you know, your phone service goes out with your uh, current phone carrier, services provider, or, or you know, potentially you've got a power outage at your office or you know, failure, hardware failure. You know, a lot of things can happen when you have on-premise equipment and on-premise services. Uh, so what do you do? What do you do in, in that situation? Uh, do you call your carrier and forward your numbers to somebody's cell phone? Do you, um, you know, just basically have an answering service that, uh, you know, you again, you forward all your numbers to? Uh, what happens? Uh, well, the short answer is nothing happens automatically. Nothing happens in real time. Uh, you, let's say you've got a PRI or some basic phone lines on site and you want to you want to have some disaster recovery or high availability options available for your phone service. You can't do it with traditional phone service. It just can't happen. So uh, that's why people, a lot of people turn to SIP trunking and VoIP phone service, uh, especially you know services like what we provide. And today in this video, we're actually going to be showing failover between a Shortel phone system and a free PBX. So I've got two different phones here. And we're going to we're going to turn these phones on and actually connect them to their uh, respective systems. And uh, the formerly Shortel now Mitel phone system here, and then a free PBX working with this uh, Grandstream phone here. So it's pretty cool if you're into telecom and you want to see these kind of things. And we're going to actually take a phone number and it's going to be pointed at the Mitel system, and then we're going to pull the plug on that number. We're literally going to disconnect the trunk and then it's going to fail over to the free pbx so if you've ever been interested in how this happens and what it takes to make it work we're going to show you so the first thing we want to do to just give you a little bit of background on our number routing is take a look at our cloud routing portal here and actually go behind the scenes with our cloud our, our, our telephone number software and our trunking software a little bit so that you can just see how the phone number is being delivered for both primary and secondary delivery we're looking here at the software, and one of the things we see is uh, we've got the uh, the full phone number right here, 1740 That's the DID we're using uh, that we're going to be uh, demonstrating our failover with. It's got a primary trunk here, which is this uh, Adtran 912 that we have here in our Delaware uh, headquarters. And that's actually plugged into our Shortel system, so it's feeding the Shortel system with a um, PRI handoff, actually. And then our secondary trunk, which you can see the secondary heading here, our secondary trunk is our demo free PBX system. Sorry for the highlight. I'll try it again. Our demo free PBX system right there. So the DID is being primarily served to the primary trunk. And then if uh, for whatever reason that ADTRAN unit or the phone system that it's tied to isn't available, whether the IP's down, the network's down, it just can't deliver a call, the number automatically fails over to the free PBX in this case. So that number, that DID right here, is uh, set up for failover from one trunk to a second trunk dynamically in real time. No intervention, human intervention needed. You see a lot of other redacted information on here. This is a live call portal, which actually has a lot of our customers' information in it. So we've pulled back a lot of that data, but we at least want to show you the DID that we're working with. Let's go on to uh, you know, the next interface from here. So our next stop is the Mitel Connect Director to take a look at the uh, primary routing for the phone number and then review the free PBX to see what the failover routing is going to look like if that trunk isn't available. First, we're starting here in the Mitel Connect Director. Uh, we can see the number 740-625-1984. It's here in the mapping uh, in our trunk group. And all we've got to do then is look below here to see uh, the name and the extension it's going to. You can see it's routing to our 3566 here, which is uh, Steve Luther's extension. That's the phone we've got set up today. And you know we see that number ring in and hit Steve Luther's extension uh, 3566 on the Mitel slash Shortel system. All right, so if this phone system, this trunk group is not reachable by the uh, trunk, then this number is going to be failing over to our free PBX. So by default, it goes into the uh, Mitel phone system. 
And uh, you know, if the Mitel is not available, if the site's down, if the network's down, if the power's out, whatever the case may be, we want to fail this number over to a different phone system for backup. We're, again, we're using a free PBX in this scenario. It could be another Mitel slash Shortel system. It could be a cloud system. It could be really a multitude of different things with our trunking capabilities. Here in this instance, we're just showing failover from a, a Mitel to a free PBX. We're going to jump over to the free PBX here and take a look at that now. So off camera, I've pulled up the free PBX just to save you guys the monotony of watching me kind of log in and um, you know set up the, the routing. I've got it here now uh, in my tab. And I'm just going to switch over. Again, we were in the Mitel Connect director previously. Now I'm just going to jump over to the free PBX. And I'm already in my inbound routes here for the free PBX. It's just a standard free PBX system. It's our demo system. You're going to see some redacted information here. Um, it's because we've got you know numbers that we don't want published and, and names and routes and whatnot that we don't want to publish and IP addressing, etc. cetera. Uh, but the, uh, the main piece here is under DIDs for our inbound route. You can see here's our here's our DID we've been working with this whole time, and it's going to be failing over to extension 3566 on the free PBX. So the free PBX phone that we have set up is also extension 3566. Just for simplicity, they're both 3566 for today's demonstration. Uh, so again, the free PBX is set up. This is the backup. We've got the Mitel system over here as the primary. Again, here's your DID, extension 3566. Then we jump back over. Same DID, same extension, different phone system, right? Okay, so we have looked at the trunk routing in our cloud uh, DID and trunking software. We've looked at the Mitel Connect routing, uh, the primary phone system, and now we've looked at the free PBX routing uh, for the secondary phone system. From here, let's take a look at uh, the physical phones and let's watch the failover occur. We're gonna uh, make a, a call uh, into the Mitel then we're going to fail the system over to uh, the free PBX, fail the number over to the free PBX, excuse me. And then we're going to make a call into the free PBX, and that'll happen dynamically with no interference from us. Now we're here with a tight shot on both of the phones. We've got our primary phone here for the Shortel on the Shortel system, and then we've got our Grandstream phone here on the free PBX system. So again, just to recap for everybody, the primary phone system is the Shortel, the secondary is the free PBX with the Grandstream phone. I've got Kathy here from Accent with me. She's going to help out by making a call into the uh, Shortel system when I ask her to. And then not only are we going to have a call in the Shortel, I'm going to walk you back uh, live on my uh, iPhone here. I'm going to walk you back and we're going to watch as we pull the power on the primary connection to the Shortel and simulate a call failover. All right, so Kathy, if you would please give the uh, number a call. All right, we see the number coming in. I see Kathy calling us. I'm just going to answer that. All right, we've got a live call here. No big deal. We'll just hang it up. Okay. Now I'm going to walk us back on my second camera here. And now you are traveling with me to the Accent uh, tel Telecom Closet. It's kind of loud in, in here. Here's our AdTran device, which is handing off the SIP trunk to our Shortel phone system. And you can see it's active. And we're just going to pull the power on it right here. So, three, two, one. All right, AdTran's out. You can see this AdTran device, it's actually just trunked over to our Shortel system here. And now let's go back into our lab area. And we're back here in the, uh, the lab studio. All right, Kathy, if you could please call that same number again. All right, Kathy made the call. There it is, it failed over to our free PBX. Just gonna answer that. Again, we got caller ID info blurred out for everybody just for uh, privacy reasons. And there you have it. Failover from the Mitel system slash Shortel to the free PBX on the Grandstream phone here. And you watched it all happen 
in real time as we disconnected the ADTRAN and, the, and effectively the SIP trunk and failed it over to our free PBX. So you've seen the failover happen live. We went from the Mitel phone system to the free PBX with the Grandstream phone here. We failed over the number in real time. We pulled the plug on our ADTRAN unit, failed the number over in real time, and then had the call come in here. Uh, this scenario could benefit your business potentially, or if you just want to check it out more, uh, you can learn more about uh, how this technology is uh, in place uh, by visiting AccentVoice.com. Uh, you can also shoot us an email at YouTube at AccentServices.com or even give us a call and chat with one of our um, engineers or advisors about potentially having something like this for your business. Uh, our number is 800-589-7379. Uh, this has been Chris with Accent, and if you uh, like this video, please do so below or share it with a friend or colleague. And if you want to subscribe, you can do so at our on our YouTube page. Hit that subscribe button, and you'll get um, updated with videos regarding VoIP communication technology, general telecom news, uh, industry information, product reviews, also just some industry insights and analysis as well. So we put a lot out there on our page, and we hope there's something there for you. Again, this has been Chris with Accent. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.